Oh, and apropos of nothing much in particular, here are five songs that don't sound like they're about what they're actually about. At number five, we have Pumped Up Kicks by Foster the People. Now, there are, of course, two hit records about a school shooting, but the other one, I Don't Like Mondays by the Boomtown Rats, sounds like it's about a school shooting, or at least something fairly grim, arranged as it is for thundering piano, ominous strings and stentorian voices. This, on the other hand, is much more kind of light and floaty and hypnotic and dreamy, and it's only when you get into the words that you're like, oh. Number four, Glad It's All Over by Captain Sensible. Once and future bass player of The Damned, Cats Insensible had, of course, a breakout solo hit with a jaunty cover of Happy Talk from South Pacific, and then had a couple of follow-up hits, and this was one of them. This, again, has a very kind of light and dreamy groove, and it's only when you start reading the words that you realise that the it that the captain is glad is over is the world, given that this is being sung in the aftermath of a nuclear apocalypse. Number three, A Town Called Malice, The Jam. This is possibly the most deliberate, jarring contrast between uh, content and sound. This is, of course, an incredibly upbeat, up-tempo, hyperkinetic, exciting bit of music about the complete lack of excitement of growing up in small-town Britain in the 80s. Number two, Here Comes Your Man by the Pixies. This is the weirdest one. Most of these songs, it becomes apparent what they're about when you get into the lyrics. This one, even once you've read the words, there's really no telling what it's about. And the only real way of telling what it's about is to read one of the many interviews of Black Francis in which he's explained what it's about. Of course, even by the Pixies' usual standards, this is a very lightweight sounding number. We associate them with kind of late 80s proto-grunge, but this is very much a kind of upbeat indie jangle laced through as it is with that rather delightful delightful retro 60s guitar riff. What it's about is the 1916 San Francisco earthquake, as seen from the point of view of a bunch of old hobos riding on a freight train, watching the shockwave come across the desert towards them and realising they're going to die when it hits the tracks. I know, me neither. And number one, born in the USA, Bruce Springsteen. You know what, folks? This one feels kind of deliberate. And I'm sure you know what it sounds like. It sounds like the archetypal, fist-pumping, America, fuck yeah, patriotic political rally anthem. And when it came out in 1984, at the height of the Reagan era, the year he got re-elected with a landslide, the year before Rambo 2 comes out, two years before Rocky IV comes out, it was immediately embraced by American politicians, particularly Republicans, to Bruce's apparent disgust, as a patriotic, fist-pumping, America, fuck yeah, political rally anthem. What it's about is a homeless Vietnam veteran realising that all his friends are dead, the war was a complete waste of time, he can't get a job, and he may as well eat a bullet. But it sounds so completely like a fist-pumping, patriotic, America, fuck yeah, political rally anthem. I can't help wondering if old Bruce was set in a trap with this one. All right, there's five. I'm sure you can think of some more. Into the comments they go. See you soon. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit like and share. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. And if you'd like to help me make more, please visit patreon.com slash mitchben.